Hello students, in this tutorial we will quickly see the power method and then we will write a code in MATLAB to implement this power method. So the power method is an iterative technique which is used to determine the dominant eigenvalue of a matrix. Dominant means the largest magnitude eigenvalue. Uh, it has one more important feature is uh, that it not only produces the eigenvalue but it also produces the associated eigenvectors that is associated with the uh, largest eigenvalue. So just for revision, what do you mean by this eigenvalue and eigenvector is that suppose that let A is an n cross n matrix and what do you wish? You wish to find out that uh, that is a column vector x which is not equal to 0 and a constant lambda such that Ax is equal to lambda x. So this is your eigenvalue this lambda is called as an eigenvalue and this x is called which is non-zero is called as eigenvector so with the help of the power method basically it is an iterative technique which takes you to the largest eigenvalue for this matrix a so analytically what you have seen that uh, if you want to find out the eigenvalue of a matrix uh, that is n cross n matrix what do you do you uh, construct a characteristic polynomial and then you equate it to zero and determine all the values of lambda for which this equation is satisfied so now the power method is an iterative technique to find the largest eigenvalue so suppose that a is n cross n matrix and it has n eigenvalues so uh, to apply power method you should make an assumption so these are the assumptions that a is an n cross n matrix and has n eigenvalues 1 lambda 2 lambda n are the eigenvalues of this matrix a and it has an associated a linearly independent eigenvectors v1 v2 v3 till vn Moreover, uh, also assume this condition that we have only uh, one largest eigenvalue. So we will be finding this eigenvalue with the help of our power method. Now you must be thinking that why we should care for finding these eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Applications of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, I have written few of them. So the first one is uh, they are used extremely in the communication system. Uh, the eigenvalues were used by Claude Shannon to determine the theoretical limit to how much information can be transmitted through the communication medium like your telephone lines or through the air. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors are also, also useful in designing the bridges. The natural frequency of the bridge is the eigenvalue of the smallest magnitude of a system that models the bridge that means that if you model the bridge and if you find out the smallest eigenvalue that is the natural frequency of the bridge and uh, engineers use this knowledge to ensure the stability of their bridge construction last one which i have uh, written is that google's rank page so google also use this uh, knowledge of eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, and put the pages rank wise like whenever you put a keyword and then you can see that it displays the results in some rank so uh, that is done with the help of the knowledge of the or you can say the clever use of the eigenvalues and eigenvectors there are many other applications too so it is very important to study these eigenvalues and eigenvectors so now i've used this matrix b and analytically you can easily see that the diagonal elements like since it is the upper diagonal matrix so these elements will be its eigenvalue you can also find the determinant which i have so shown like how can you find out the eigenvalue so what you will do you will equate it with zero and you will find out that the eigenvalues are three two and two so we have found out the eigenvalues 
analytically now let's see how can we find out the uh, largest eigen value with our iterative technique mainly uh, iterative techniques are useful when you have a large system and uh, uh, then uh, you are not able to find out the uh, eigen values so quickly like we have done here so what you can do is uh, use the iterative technique Okay, now, uh, so now we will see a simple algorithm for the power method. So firstly, we need to uh, write down the matrix A for which we need to find out the largest eigenvalue and we will start with the initial guess X. Then what we will do, we will calculate A into X and give it to the value Y. And then what we need to do is find the largest element in the magnitude of the matrix Y. That you want to find out the maximum of y and you want to find out the infinity norm so this and give it a value assign it a value k like you find out this and give it a value k and then what you will find out you will find out the fresh value of x as 1 by k into y so now your x uh, you started with the initial guess and now you have updated your x with this value now what you will do you will calculate this this is mainly for the stopping criteria like you are calculating the previous minus the current or the current minus previous the absolute value if it is greater than the error then um, what you will do you will go to this step and repeat and repeat until this absolute value is not less than error then you will stop and come out of the loop so let's see a matlab code this is the matlab code for the power method so what you have done you have started with the uh, initial condition x and this is the value of a for which you want to find out the uh, largest eigen value you want you wish to find out the largest eigen value of this a so you have also written now you have given a tolerance um, that uh, that will give you that whenever the answer like the previous answer and the current answer is less than this then come out of the loop and you have started your iteration you have given dd as this and then you have uh, initialized k is equal to 10 this is done only to start the while loop like your tolerance is this and your dd means you can say the error is this and k is 10 now you are calculating y is equal to a into x now what you are doing you are uh, looking at the error so uh, this one is a norm uh, like infinity norm of y it is doing nothing but it is calculating the maximum component in the y since y is a vector it will find out the maximum component of y and then it is subtracting with the k in the first step this will be subtracted with 10 and then k is equal to norm of y infimum means it is calculating the infim uh, infinity norm of y and giving giving its value to k now x is updated this is a new x the first x was this this was our initial x and now the x is updated by y by k and then again what it will do it will check whether the dd is greater than tolerance or not if it is then what it will do it will again calculate this y and now see this k is over here means the previous norm is subtracted with the current norm current norm is now here the y is calculated and the current norm so this is giving you the error like the error between the previous and the current y and until this dd becomes less than the tolerance it will repeat and repeat again so i have uh, made this small program in the matlab and then the output is like this so you can see that it found out the value 3 which we have seen also from our analytic calculations i have shown you the matrix the same matrix i have uh, given to the matlab and then he found out that this will be our maximum 
eigen value and the corresponding eigen vectors are given as this so let us quickly see uh, i'll copy and paste this code in the matlab and then we will quickly see the output also in our matlab so i have copy pasted the um, code in the matlab and then i am going to run this by pressing the run button in the editor and then when i press this run button you can see i get the output over here that this value is 3 which is the eigen value which is the largest eigen value and this is the corresponding eigen vector so i hope that uh, you now understand the power method thank you